Bernard of Clairvaux Catholic Community. On the solemnity of the Annunciation, we contemplate how the angel asked for Mary's consent so that the word may enter into the world. We recall how the expectations of centuries depended on her response and how indeed the salvation of mankind depends on it still. No one has ever or ever will respond to God with a greater faith than hers. We offer this Mass for an increase in faith in the Incarnate Word for all members of our parish community and the religious family of the Incarnate Word, that this reality may be the cornerstone of our life, our community, and our world. And thank you for continuing to follow civil and diocesan procedures for the Mass. En la Solemnidad de la Anunciación, contemplamos como el ángel solicita el consentimiento de María para el ingreso del Verbo en el mundo. Recordamos cómo las expectativas de siglos dependían de su respuesta y cómo, de hecho, la salvación de la humanidad depende todavía de ella. Nunca nadie ha respondido ni responderá jamás a Dios con una fe tan grande como la de ella. Ofrecemos esta misa por el aumento de la fe en el Verbo Encarnado para todos los miembros de nuestra comunidad parroquial y de la familia religiosa del Verbo Encarnado. Para que esta realidad sea la piedra angular de nuestra vida, nuestra comunidad y nuestro mundo. De antemano, gracias por seguir los procedimientos civiles y diocesanos durante la misa. Nos ponemos de pie. Buenas tardes. Soy el obispo Eduardo Burns, uh, el obispo de la diócesis de Dallas. Es un honor estar aquí con ustedes. Perdóname, por favor, porque mi español es malo. Muy malo. It is good to be with all of you, and I cherish this opportunity to celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. 
let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My friends, to prepare ourselves to enter into these sacred mysteries, we take a moment, call to mind our sins, and we ask God for his gift of forgiveness. <clears throat> I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen. O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh. 
Lectura de la Carta a los Hebreos Hermanos, es imposible que la sangre de toros y machos cabríos puedan borrar los pecados. Por eso, al entrar al mundo, Cristo dijo conforme al Salmo, No quisiste víctimas ni ofrendas, en cambio me has dado un cuerpo. No te agradaron los holocaustos ni los sacrificios por el pecado. Entonces dije, porque a mí se refiere la Escritura. Aquí estoy, Dios mío, vengo para cumplir tu voluntad. Comienza por decir, no quisiste víctimas ni ofrendas. No te agradaron los holocaustos ni los sacrificios por el pecado. Siendo así, que es lo que pedía la ley? Y luego añade, aquí estoy, Dios mío, vengo para cumplir tu voluntad. Con esto, Cristo suprime los antiguos sacrificios para establecer el nuevo. Y en virtud de esta voluntad, todos quedamos santificados por la ofrenda del cuerpo de Jesucristo hecha de una vez por todas. Palabra de Dios. to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, 
and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord.
My friends, as we profess our faith and being the solemnity of the Annunciation, we will genuflect at the phrase, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. And so let us profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, For our sake, he is crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the day, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Holy Virgin, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to pray through the incarnate Son of our loving Father. Let us pray for Pope Francis and Bishop Burns and Bishop Kelly, that through their office as shepherds of the church, that they may be a visible source of unity in faith for the faithful they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por nuestra comunidad parroquial y escolar de San Bernardo de Claraval, para que nos renovemos en nuestra fidelidad a la Eucaristía y nos esforcemos por vivir el mensaje del Evangelio con un celo y una valentía cada vez mayores. Roguemos al Señor. For the Institute of the Incarnate Word on the 37th anniversary of its foundation, may all its members be steadfast in their work to inculturate the gospel, extending the incarnation to all men and the whole men and in all of the manifestations of men. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Por la santificación de todas las familias, para que por intercesión de San José, seamos testigos fieles de la alegría del Evangelio, vivida en primer lugar dentro de nuestros hogares. Roguemos al Señor. For many holy vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life that driven by the love of Christ, they may be faithfully laid down their life for the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Por los enfermos, especialmente nuestros familiares, amigos y miembros de la familia religiosa de Vive, para que se unan a la palabra eterna de Dios en sus sufrimientos. Roguemos al Señor. Father of the Incarnate Word, receive the prayers of this community. Assemble to hear the word and to offer the sacrifice of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Dear Bishop, on behalf of uh, our provincial superior, Father Alberto, and also Mother Provincial, Mother Immaculate, they send you greetings. And on behalf of all of us, you know, this Father Louis, the deacons, the sisters, the school, the church, all the community, we are very blessed, really very blessed, to have you as our bishop. So let us give them a big round of applause. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, this, this, last two, this last year, we have had the, in our staff adding Father Lewis and Deacon Kevin. They have been a huge, huge blessing to our community. And also Sister Ephesus. Where is Sister Ephesus? Over here. So let us uh, give thanks to the Lord for their presence in our community. At this Mass, I was thinking about, uh, you know, we are a missionary uh, order. Father Louis, me, Mother Servant. We have brothers and sisters who are priests and, and sisters, nuns, who are in places that do not have so loving a community like you. They are like in Saudi Arabia, Papua New Guinea, uh, Uzbekistan, places like that. And I was thinking about them during the Mass, uh, that God may bless them with their missionary work, and they, that we may pray for them, that they may be faithful to the mission of bringing the Incarnation, bringing Jesus to those people. Also, we have a special uh, guest, Dr. Goody. Please, can you stand? He's the CEO of The Bridge. He's a holy man. He, he works with the homeless solution for the city and the bridge. And it's huge what he does. Thank you for your presence with us. And finally, to all of us, the, all the altar servers, the choir, it's beautiful, the sacristans, our school, the teachers, Mrs. Lori Seneca, our principal, the business manager, Rick Alviso, Tom, our president of the finance board, the staff, everyone that worked hard for this Boches Berby, the third order, the IV third order, everyone. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Before uh, the final blessing, Bishop, let me uh, have Sister, Sister Ephesus, please come. She's going to give us some safety guidelines how to go to the reception in the gym. Good evening. Immediately following the Mass, we have, for those who have registered and RSVP'd for the reception, um, you can enter the school. It will be in the gymnasium, the entrance here close to the church, or the entrance here on the corner close to the rectory. Um, there'll be ladies there directing you and will 
let you know your assigned table number. Um, we just ask that while you're in the building that you wear your mask when you're not seated at your table, that you remain at your table during the dinner. Um, once we're inside and we've blessed the food, each table will be called by number for their, uh, for their food. And immediately después de la misa, invitamos a todos que están registrados para la cena a ir directamente al gimnasio aquí en la entrada cerca de la, la iglesia o también aquí en la entrada cerca de la, la rectoría. Eh, ahí van a, ser, van a ser unos señores que les van a dar el número de su mesa en la cena. Pedimos que todos usen su mascarilla dentro de la, la escuela y que queden sentados en su, en su mesa durante la cena. Eh, después de la bendición de la comida, vamos a, vamos a llamar cada mesa por, por número. Gracias. Sister, thank you. And Father Gaston, thank you for your very kind words. Allow me to say that as the Bishop of the Diocese of Dallas, I am absolutely blessed, humbled, and privileged to be your shepherd. And I am ever so pleased with the wonderful vitality, faithfulness, dedication, and commitment of this parish. And here in this parish, as the shepherd of the Diocese of Dallas, I am profoundly grateful to the members of the Institute of the Incarnate Word for your presence here in this parish and here in this diocese. We are absolutely honored by your witness to the gospel through rel religious life and by being men of word and sacrament here within this parish, profoundly grateful. And <laughs> it's always a joy being with my brother deacons, uh, Deacon Leo, Deacon Kevin, for all that you do you are a blessing and I am also aware that when the bishop comes to the parish there's always extra things to do at mass so to the servers thank you so much for your good work and for And of course, for this liturgy to the, to the lectors and also to the music ministry, thank you for raising our hearts and voices in song and praise. Your ministry is, is such a gift this day and to, of course, the entire parish. And allow me also to say, as I mentioned at the beginning of my homily, and I'm ever so glad that Father Gaston identified Dr. Moody, who is here, who is, does such a wonderful job at the bridge and for our community. And, and I had the privileged opportunity of joining Gloria a couple times, you know, to visit. Be assured of our prayers for all that you do. As you serve our brothers and sisters in need, we congratulate you for the wonderful way in which you do it. And we are partners with you in, in all that you do. So congratulate, and you honor us. You. You really honor us with your pr presence here this evening. E, um, ora por mi, por favor, porque si mi español es malo, pero yo tengo clases de español. Uno, ah. <laughs> O day or dos dias in la semana, uh, ora por mi e ora por mi maestro. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mis hermanos y hermanas, el Señor está en con ustedes. La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.
see you there.